Hi there, this is Mark. We're going to be talking about how you find members in the Groupable M2 application. I'm going to go ahead and log in here and it's going to bring me to my home screen. There's two ways, main ways that you can search for members. There is the search widget at the top. I can type in a few letters of anyone's name. If it matches a single person, it will automatically bring that person up. If it matches multiple people, it's going to bring them up in a list. The search results are limited to 200 members. If you go over 200, you'll have to type in a little bit more so that you can narrow it down. You can have multiple uh, pieces of information here. They get split apart and searched for as an and so that it's going to look for someone that has both of those things in their information. Underneath the question mark to the right of it, you can see all the different ways that you can search. We do name, phone, email, status, city. Uh, the state, the zip, postal code, that kind of thing. So there's a lot of ways that you can search for members here. We also have under the members menu, a find member feature. And again, these are additive. You will see the two people that I've already searched for are here in my result list. So as you actually display people, they get added to this list so you can go back and see who you've looked at. Again, you can search for someone by last name here. And in a lot of ways, less is more. You don't want to necessarily have to type out the whole name because the longer the name, the more likely you are to misspell it. Go ahead and click search. That's going to bring them up in the list. You can click the name to display the member. Also, some of the different searches that we have here are distance from a zip code. You can search by birth date. You can search the notes for a member. By default, we do exclude deceased, expelled, and suspended members from the results set. You can also buffer these results so that if you want to, say, get all the members who are in good standing, who are in a particular membership class, you can do that search. And now those members are in the buffer so you can produce labels or send an email to them or produce a report. We'll cover that in a separate video.